Hello everyone, this is Tojar Hoy, and we are going to start a new game today. We are going to play Dragon Quest Builders 2, because we just finished up uh, Super Mario RPG. So, we will start off with character creation and go from there. So, get to pick hair color. Um, go with something in the shade of... Shade of green, because I don't think we get green as a skin color option. We do not. So let's go pale and pasty. Eyes. I'm thinking red. Name the character. For ease of simplicity, we are going to name her boy. And we are happy with the character creation. And now it wants to adjust game settings. So I'm just going with the standard settings on this. Yes, I'm happy with that. Um, I will try to voice the characters again in this like I did in Super Mario RPG. The voices may not match up every time. That's because I forget. It happens. Uh, I have a recipe for a stackable slime. That's because I think it was like some kind of bundle deal when you bought the game. Venture forth, my children, and destroy all before you. I think this opening takes a little bit, so, you know, grab some popcorn and enjoy. Look at that. Thus decreed the great and glorious High Priest Argon, and lo, his minions of mayhem did march out and rank upon rank to ravage the land and strike fear into the hearts. Our unholy father then gave up his mortal form, so that Melroth, the master of destruction, might be reborn, and the world be consumed by catastrophe. Alas, mighty Melroth was defeated at the hands of the despicable spawn of Erdrick before Hargon's glorious vision could be brought to life. They died! We need to bring them back. The moon has waxed and waned many times since that fateful day. Now peace reigns supreme and our order has been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Tell me, brothers and sisters, what does a monster do when backed into a corner? It bites, I say. We must do everything and anything within our power to bring this world to ruin. Huzzah! Huzzah! All hail Hargon! Priest be... Praise be to Melroth! And if I mispronounce names and words... Yeah, just get over it. O oh, hellish father, hear our prayer. Deliver us from this world of oblivion. Lead us ever onwards, and we, as we build your dominion of darkness together. Yay, Dragon Quest Builders 2! To be honest, I never played Dragon Quest Builders 1. Boy! You are the hero who will save this world. Arise, my child, your destiny awaits.
<laughs> the look on your face. I was only ribbing you, my child. You're no hero. I know that much. You're one of them builders, right? Yes, yes I am. <laughs> you want to watch that mouth of yours, girl? Telling the truth might land you with more than you bargained for. Still, at, la at least you're not a master builder. You might only be an apprentice, but that'll do. I've actually got just the job for a lass like you. Once you've wiped the sleep from your sockets, come and meet me up on the deck. Okay. So, just basic tutorial like this type of stuff. Hey, talk. No response. Just a skeleton. I don't need to rest. Boy peeks inside the pot. What a paw. This must be the toilet. Looks like it hasn't been empty for a very long time. Ew. Toilet goo. Alright. Up here, builder! Stairs are no match for you, I see. You just can't keep a good girl down. <laughs> now, as you'll no doubt have spotted, we're sailing on the open ocean. You've got no chance of escaping, so don't even bother trying. Not that you get very far, anyway. You're nothing but skin and bones. Here, get this down to your gullet. It's fresh from the captain's table, which is where I sit, by the way. <laughs> Help. Boy can't remember when she last ate. The thought of food makes her stomach start rumbling. Alright, so now it's time to eat the kelp. Yummy, yummy. Ah! Down in one. That's kelp. Pretty tasty, isn't it? The pungent aroma and the slimy texture makes for a spine tingling combination. You should thank your lucky stars you got to scoff such a scrumptious snack because it'll be the last meal you ever eat. Yep, you heard me right. You'll be dead soon enough. But don't worry, you won't be shuffling off this little coil just yet. I've got plenty of hard graft for you to be getting on with first. Alright. <laughs> you can wipe that lily livered look off your face. I'm not going to send you to the cemetery anytime soon. So as long as you've got some life left in you, I'll give you a chance to keep holding. But you'll have to follow my orders to the letter. What's that? You want to know who we are and what you're doing here? If you're that desperate to find out how far up the creek you are without a paddle, I might add, go and talk to those five monsters beneath the flag over there. All right, all right, I'll go. You got a hole in your boat. Hello, we are the last surviving members of the children of Harley, the ones who didn't get squished. We're doing the ring of gold to its knees, all in the name of the great and glorious High Priest War. What with all the slurping hunters salivating at the prospect of squashing you humans once and for all, The ship keeps swaying from side to side. I feel a bit seasick. What's that? You want to know where we're sailing to? I haven't the foggiest. The higher-ups would never tell stuff like that to a lowly little drakey. Well, well, if it isn't little Miss Builder, you're only an apprentice, but you're prancing around like you own the place. Honestly.
Exactly. You can't go anywhere. The the dash without bumping into an innocent little builder, hell bent on undoing all of our hard work. The world's going down the pan. That's for sure. Our only choice is to eliminate bothersome builders like you, once and for all. <laughs> You're that apprentice builder that we nabbed in Kathleen, aren't you? I must admit, I feel a few pangs of sympathy for you. It's not very nice to know that your end is nigh. <laughs> My Paul cannot move from forth. These three kingdoms did come the hated heroes, the scions of Edric, and laid almighty Hargon low. With his dying breath, our exalted leader surrendered his mortal form so that Malroth, the Lord of Destruction, could be born. Alas, he too was vanquished. But does that mean all hope is lost? No, I say. Hargon's ambitions did not perish with him. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. But one day, we will reduce this world to ruin. Alright, I talked all. <laughs> Talk to the rest of the crew, eh? Obedient little blighter, aren't you? So now you know, we're the last survivors of the children of Hargon, loyal servants of the mighty master of destruction himself. That means you builders are our sworn enemies. We're sailing to the ocean blue, rounding up pesky vermin like you, along with anyone else who gets in our way. Eh. You want to know what we're going to do with all these builders? Only the higher-ups know for sure, but I'll make no bones about it. I reckon you lot are up for the shop. Still, that doesn't mean we can't make the most of what little time you've got left. Just be thankful you can be of some benefit as your final moment draws even ever closer. He's very long-winded, I tell ya. Listen up, Builder. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life behind bars or worse, you'll do as I say. So here's the deal. Last night, a storm messed up my ship good and proper. I want you to make things ship shape around here again. To start, I want you to break up all the driftwood strewn about the deck and bring it to me. And bring me the wood when you're done. Go on, chop chop. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Take that, Driftwood. You have met your match in Builder Hoy. Evil Driftwood. I have thwarted the well, well, my deck looks in much better shape now that you've picked up all that wood. No flies on you, eh? Still, I suppose being given the chance to save your sorry skin will tend to give you a kick in the coccyx. You want to know why I'm giving you this chance? The truth is, as a sworn servant of the Master of Destruction, I'm not supposed to fraternize with you, kind. But, considering the state of my ship, I've got no other choice. Anyway, it's not like you're a proper builder. You're only an apprentice. At the end of the day. So, I'm sure it's fine. He wouldn't forsake me for a little thing like this, right? Anyway, I think we've changed the battle long enough. If you want to cling on to your life for a little longer, I suggest you continue working like a dutiful little builder you are. Just remember, you can get all sorts of useful materials by smashing things up. Just be careful that what you're smashing doesn't smash you back. Smash bash all the same. Use a hammer. 
hit it. You're an odd one. Since the moment I let you out of that cell, you've been scurrying around my deck, chatting with my crew, without a care in the world. If anything, I'd wager you were actually enjoying this. There must be something wrong with you. I can't explain it any other way. I mean, why else would you wear that dopey grin on your dopey face? With the same fate, most prisoners would scared would be scared witless, but not you. You what? You always look like that. When some someone's got a job for you. Seems like you aren't scared of us at all. I better keep you busy or who knows what you might try and pull. Luckily, there's plenty of for you to be getting on with. For starters, some of the boys on the deck have jobs that need doing. Report back to me when you've sorted them out. Alright, finally got talking. I've been watching you, Builder. I saw you scramble around the deck, greedily pocketing all the wood you could find. The raging tempest that struck last night washed all of our navigation lights overboard. But such things can be rebuilt, can they not? To wit, I wish for you to use the wood you collected to make some new torches. Can you see that worn out workbench over there? Use it to make five torches. Here, I believe you'll need this oil to craft them. Alright. Once you have the torches, you must put them back in their proper position. The five black blocks will be your sign. There is one by the workbench and four more around the stairs that lead below decks. Place one torch upon each block. Do not fail me, Builder. Craft the five torches and put them in place and return to me when you have finished the task. Okay, okay, let me go to the I can select them and then place them with X. Yes. Uh -oh. There we go. Damn. Please, it's making it brighter. There we go. Look, now you can see the holes when you're gonna fall in. It seems you've done exactly as I asked. The guiding flame burns brightly as before. For a ship such as ours, they could do with being a touch more sinister, if I do say so myself. But I shan't complain, the deck is illuminated once more. I must say, your propensity to create unsettles me. Not that it matters, you will soon outlive your usefulness. But your work is not over yet. There are others aboard this ship who might still find some use for you. Go to them, I pray. Alright. Bye! Do you need something, Mr. Skelly? Well, if it isn't the so-called Builder, Anyone would think you own this place the way you're running about this deck. What's with that attitude? You're running errands for the boys on Captain's orders, and you want me to give you a job to do. Tell you what, you can help me relieve the boredom of being stuck on this good-for-nothing ship, as long as you're not afraid to put your life on the line. Truth is, I've always wondered whether builders can fight. How do you feel about going mano a mano with a monster? Boy, you fancy taking a swing at this kid? Just try not to kill her, eh? <laughs> Alright, better put them boots up. I warn you though, that skeleton soldier's a proper head case. Come and find me after the fight's finished, if you can still walk. Yeah. Ha ha, your head fell off. 
Well, you're a better boxer than you look. I'll give you that. Still, the only thing those pathetic punches over here is hurt was my pride. Not that I should be surprised. You're pretty bummy for someone who claims to be a builder. That doesn't exactly bode well for your future career, does it? Luckily, you don't have a future to speak of at all. <laughs> Alright, be off with you. Go and tell both of what a weakling you are. <laughs> you fight like a cow's cadaver. You builders really aren't cut out for combat after all. What's that? You would have smashed him to smithereens if you'd had a weapon. <laughs> a likely story. You are you going to bash him upside the skull with one of them torches you made? You're such a whizzy, a whiz at whipping up. Don't make me laugh. Huh? What's that book you've got there? I've got an idea. Ooh, cypress stick. Don't just stand there, Sparky. Tell me what's so funny. You what? You just worked out how to make a cypress stick. Well, I never. Are you telling me that builders can invent things as well as make them? Well, don't just stand around looking formless. Put your money where your mouth is. Make this cypress stick then. You know where the workstation is, right? And one more thing. Once you've made it, don't forget to equip it for weapons or use otherwise. Alright, I'm gonna go build a stick. A whooping stick. Got a whooping stick. Yeah. The girl genius returns, cypress stick in hand. Now you really look the part. What do you say? Fancy another crack of that old bag of bones now that you've got a weapon? Yes, dude. <laughs> That's the spirit. I want to watch that rotter try and put himself back together once you're through with him. Alright. Oh, down like a clown. Erg, a bone-crushing defeat. I don't know if I can pick myself up after this one. Go on, then, lass, and brag about beating me up to both. Well, you certainly gave that bag of bones a good hiding. Just look at the state of him. The only thing he's good for now is feeding a dog. You what? You feel a bit sorry for him. <laughs> That's a new one. Always a no human ever shed a tear for a monster before. Just don't think you can butter me up by tickling my funny bone. Anyway, thanks for that, Builder. It certainly helped me pass the time, if nothing else. I even think I learned something today. You builders are useless in a fist fight. But with a weapon in hand, you're nothing to be sneezed at. But you're not done for the day, not just yet. Not by a long shot. I've got a feeling in my bones there's someone else on board who needs a helping hand. Yep, we completed your task. Alright, so... We're actually going to end this episode here. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode.